Welcome to Retro Scale Modeling. This is part 11 of the main 9A52-2 Smart Russian Longley Range rocket launcher. Now in part 10, um, everything was going well until I managed to drop the um, model and um, knocked off the um, rocket launcher control unit and uh, detached a, a couple of pieces. So I've repaired much of the much of the damage as I can. Um, it's not looking brilliant, but it's it's okay. So here, here's a unit here. I'll just hold up, and um, yeah, it's sort of level. I had a problem with the front wheels; they've gone out of alignment, and um, when, when it sits down, it these wheels are sitting up, and I can't get them down anymore because I'll just snap off the. Um, axle and um, that's holding it so uh, best not to touch it so what I've done is I put back on the extended feet plate here uh, I did take them off and put the smaller ones on but I put these back on and um, that's sort of helping it balance it out a bit it's not brilliant but um, it's just gonna have to do well. so the next stage of the build it's built in the launch tube and uh, rocket launchers ourselves. So, um, so I'll be building the tubes and the rocket head and the um, delivery mechanism. I don't know how much I'll get done, but um, I'll see it through. But here we go. So I'll I'll get on with that. The rocket launcher tubes are next, and these are getting put in XF fifty six metallic grey. Uh, there's quite a few to make up here. Now the inside tubes are drying. Um, I'm going to go into the um, actual warheads now. So the main colour is XF19 Sky Grey Tamiya. And then uh, the tip of the head missile head is um, 05 White by Revel Aqua Colour. There's a little colour in between the white and grey. And that's getting painted in Revel Aqua Colour 92 Brass. And it's just a thin line between the two colours. Once the warheads are dry, it's time to place them in the tube. Now, these are very, very tight fitting. Um, you may need some clamps to hold them shut, but it's imperative that you get them the lo location points in the actual recess or of the uh, part, or the um, two halves will not close together. Then once they're closed up, there's a, a, a fin that uh, gets placed onto this uh, top part of the rocket so there's three sections to the actual rocket itself the um, the warhead part that you just saw me make, make it up and uh, there's a middle part and the um, end part on the main stem now um, again these are a little bit tricky to fit um, there is a lot of location points there uh, down the sides but I actually found it easier to cut them off and just um, cement them straight on to each other instead of trying to um, marry up the location points. The the parts are clearly marked inside, ranging from V1 to V4, I think it is. Um, but you, you'll want to get special attention to the instructions because um, it will be quite easy to get the different parts mixed up. Then it's on to the tail end of the uh, rocket. Now, um, it's a tiny little tube uh, you make up, but they also have uh, various brackets and mechanisms that have got to be um, cemented onto it. The location points are, are not exactly clear um, where to put them, so you're going to have to really look at them to understand where to put the certain parts. I'm pre-painting the uh, brackets here. There's three in, in total, and these are getting painted in Rebel Aquacolor 362 greyish green. And uh, I'm just literally putting all, um, all over these uh, little co collets in, in the bracket. You don't have to be too accurate on these because um, you don't get to see much of them. And then it's the same uh, colour, 362 greyish green, for the actual rockets as well. I had a little bit of glue leakage on there, so I'm just uh, sanding them down to get them all smooth again, taking away any little fingerprints or whatever. 
and then it was time to paint the rest of the tubes in the 362 greyish green so you can see them all there how many parts there is there's 12 rockets in total now uh, with three parts each no four parts each sorry then it was on to the actual mechanism um, that lists the rockets up so there's a two main uh, heavy brackets that you make up here each one has a um, its own side and has a uh, two small four edge parts that um, cement onto the um, the locking pin mechanism that holds it all into place. There's also a couple of bars that have to go in. Um, try putting them in on one side before you close up the bracket and before you cement the bracket together really. But however you do it, you shouldn't have any problems with it. Now it's time to put on the uh, main holding bracket for the um, tubes. Now the instructions um, ask you to uh, cement this first. So that's what I did uh, before placing on the um, tail end of, of the actual rockets. Now I discovered that was a bit of a mistake doing that because it was quite difficult to get these um, tail end brackets on while it was attached. Uh, to the main unit there. Um, initially they went on easy but anytime you were putting a, a bit of pressure on it it was popping off. So in the end I just took it right off. So once it was off it was easy enough to put them in then flipping it over uh, to put the longer tube in. Now I did actually have again main problems here. I, I found this part really difficult to do actually. Th there's a, a little collar on each tube that fits inside uh, the, the bracket and um, I could not get them to fit properly. I, I don't know what it may have been me, I, I don't know, but I just couldn't get them to fit. In the end, I, I just snipped them off and then lined up the tubes like that. Now, it's best not to fit the um, the, the main bra uh, the, the main part here that holds on to the well goes on to the bed um, beforehand because. Um, it, just causes problems once you put the other bracket on. Th this, that middle part that you see inside can be fitted right at the end. Um, so I would suggest don't put that on uh, until all the tubes are actually done. So once I've got the main tubes in it was time to do the other little tubes on on the opposite side of, of the next bracket. So I'm just placing them in. Uh, as I said I cut off the, the little collars that fit into the bracket. Um, I just found it a lot more easier. It took me about three hours to, to do this. Um, uh, just to show you how long it, um, how difficult I've, I've found it. But once it was in and drying, everything was back to normal. You don't, also you don't want the um, chips to be completely set because you will have to maneuver them into position once you put on the next bracket. Again, I found this really, really hard uh, to do to get all 12 to line up and um, you have to maneuver each one into position um, hold it so it's not going to move then um, carry on it didn't matter whether the collar was on or was off they still kept on popping out but in the end what I did was I I glued a couple let them set then glued a, another couple and done it that way so it was a long, laborious task, but um, I, I couldn't see a better way to do it. And once all the main tubes were on, it was finally uh, time to put on the um, the actual uh, rocket head itself. Um, these are the ones with the little fins in, so you, you have to put them in such a way that they're um, not going to encroach on the other ones and push them offline. Um, so what I did, I just placed them and twisted them around until they were in a position where they weren't interfering with the one opposite it. So it's back to the sprue and I'm painting everything here in 362 greyish green by Aravo Aquacolor. And this is the sighting platform assembly and the, the sighting unit assembly as well. Um, tiny little parts involved in this. and uh, you, you have two options uh, for the sight assembly whether it's the rockets are going to be in an upright position or um, lying flat on, on the actual uh, unit's bed. Uh, you don't have the option where it will manoeuvre into whatever position. 
So you have to make your choice now whether you're going to have them upright or uh, just lying down flat. I'm going to have mine pointing up, but it's uh, entirely up to you how you'd like to do this. The sight and assembly is so small, uh, there's no point um, trying to show you really because my hands would just cover everything. That's how small it is. So I'll build this part up, then take a photograph of it and put it on at the end of the video so you can actually see it made up. And now I'm going to bring this uh, video to a close. It was a, a very trying um, stage of this one. As I said, it could have just been me not getting it right. I just don't know. But um, after dropping the thing and uh, having to repair it, then all, all the hassle that I had with the actual rockets themselves, you know, um, it took a lot longer than I expected. So in the next part, I'll be um, attaching the um, the rocket uh, to to the main bed, um, attaching the sighting uh, assembly which I'm making now, and then start getting to go into the detailing of, of the unit if time allows. So if you get the chance, why don't you check the other videos uh, of this build uh, to see how it's all went so far. You can even check out all my other uh, videos as well on the channel. Subscribe if you like what you see and throw me a like as well. That would be nice. But for now, thank you all for watching. Bye bye.